and welcome back to my channel. I think we're gonna be getting some thunderstorms later, so woo woo. And I'm just like sitting over here like, where are you? Because I love me a good thunderstorm. I don't know why you would care, but I felt you really needed to know that to help you make your decision on whether or not you wanna buy the palette that we are gonna be talking about. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the Violet Voss Cool Vibes palette. Yes, Cool Vibes, not Cool Vines, which <laughs> when I looked up in my search history to see how much this palette cost, I wrote it out as Cool Vines. So anyways, Cool Vibes. <laughs> so I feel like Violet Voss is a brand that does not get talked about a lot. And I'm not really sure why, because I feel like they are pretty decent. I really like them a lot. I have so many palettes by them. I have at least 10. And what's interesting about them is that they come in a variety of sizes and price points. And because of that, I feel like different formulas. However, if you're interested in trying them out, then you can definitely pick a palette that's kind of like more suited to your needs. So let's just let's just talk about Violet Voss for a little bit. So like I said, they have a variety of sizes and price points with, this is the biggest that I've seen from them. Oh, these two are exactly the same size. Yeah, so I have like five different sizes here in front of me. So this is the biggest size that I've seen from them. Like all these shadows right here. And I think this one retails for somewhere between $42 and $45. So this is the most expensive palette that you're going to be seeing from them on their website. And I actually really like this one. This is a See You Later palette. So obviously, the more expensive you get, the better the formula. Like, duh. Um, well, not always. Not always, because there are some luxury palettes out there that are crap, and there are some really cheap ones that are amazing. This came out two summers ago, and I actually did two separate videos on this palette, one using the cool tones and one using the warm tones, and I actually do like this palette quite a bit. Now, a palette that I don't like are their minis. I actually haven't played around with this one yet, so it's probably not fair to bring this one out, but the mini that I didn't like, I didn't really care for the donut palette and I didn't like the forget me not which is like a blue palette but these are what the minis look like in these real in these retail for $18 so pretty affordable still if you're looking to try out the brand however if you are looking to try out the brand I do not recommend these ones I recommend their mid-size palettes which would be the ones that look like this. And I think, what are these? Like their 18 shade palettes? Because I have a few of these. I have their Securo Blossom. I have their Sugar Crystal. I think that's what it's called. Um, palette, I also did a review on both of those on this channel, so go check them out if you want. And I really liked both of those quite a bit. So I think these are gonna be the best bang for your buck. So yeah, these do run $42. And then the big ones that have 20 are 45. So really you're only getting like four shades more for about $3 more. Uh, so that's, that's probably why they're both really good. <laughs> so I feel like their bigger ones are where they shine the most. And the little ones, not so much. Okay, so now they also have some little tiny ones that look like these. I just got this in the mail. This is their All of You Forever palette. So I can't speak to the price point or to the quality of these ones, but I just thought I'd throw it out there that they also make 12 pans. And now the one I'm gonna be talking about today is the Cool Vibes, and this retails for $30, and you get, how many? 10 very large pans. So I actually, I think I have their rainbow palette in the 10, but I haven't tried it out yet. I know, I'm so bad. Does anyone else do that? Does anyone else buy makeup, like eyeshadow palettes, lipsticks, and then it sits there forever and you're like, oh, I need to use that. But then you buy something else and then it just gets pushed aside. Anyways, so I actually have never tried out this size formula before. 
So today will be my first time, so we'll be finding out together. So yeah, like I said, this retails for $30, so you know, that's kind of that midpoint between the 18 and like the 45, so not terribly bad. And I'm interested to see how this works. So, so uh, originally I had not planned on getting this palette because I saw the neutral shades and I was like, Oh, yeah, I don't, I'm not really a fan of the browns. Like, you should know by now. You should know by now. If you've been watching me, I like color. You could see it on my lipstick. You could see it on the eyeshadow palettes I review. You could see it in my clothes. You could see it in my background. So this kind of palette, not a Jessica palette. However, what did drew me to it is I started seeing swatches, and I really liked the cool tones to it. I love cool tones. I'm not about those warm tones. I feel like they just don't look as flattering on me. Ugh, what am I even saying? I feel like they just don't look as flattering on me. So I was really excited to maybe explore this one. Plus I was just kind of drawn to some of these gray shades over here. So yeah, I don't think there's too much more to say about this palette. It looks like it's split half and half. You get five mattes, you get five shimmers, you get a mirror, it has that magnetic closure, it's just cardboard, so not, you know, the most luxurious of packaging. But honestly, sometimes I just, I don't really always care about cute packaging if it's gonna save me, you know, some coin. You know what I'm saying? So it does look like you get a good variety of shades in there. You get like a nice little base highlight type of shade. You get a lot of nice transition shades that are matte. I think this is a pretty well-rounded palette. There's nothing left to do but put it to the test. And why I chose to wear long sleeves, I do not know because it is so scorching hot out there today scorching hot so hot that it's like killing the grass because okay before i get started on the video okay no i'm just gonna I'll, I'll tell you this while i'm doing my makeup okay and then you can give me advice so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take this barely there shade and put it all over my lid as a base so okay while i do that okay so you do get some fallout but, I mean, okay, it is what it is. Okay, so why I do that, let me tell you about my grass. So we have a dog, and it likes to, ooh, yeah, you definitely get fallout when you're applying the shadow, so be careful. So we have a dog, and he's been peeing all over the grass, and he's been killing it. So we've been trying to regrow the grass and make it look all nice again, and we got these like little sod, I think that's how you say it, little like sod like grass carpets from Home Depot. We only picked up three to just cover up like the really big bald spots. And we started using them and one of them is thriving, it's living its best life. But the other two, it's like, I don't know if it's because it's been so hot out, but they are like dry and brittle like... I worry that they're just gonna like self combust with how brittle they are. Like, oh my gosh, they could literally catch on fire. But so I've been watering them and watering them and watering them, but they're still brittle as can be and they're looking like they're about to die off. So I don't know. Does anyone have advice on how to like grow freaking grass? Because literally, I even bought grass seed and that didn't really work. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. The lawn is getting increasingly more ugly, so. By the way, my face is not oily, so before you come at me, Cindy, <laughs> that's just, if you don't know why I'm laughing, go watch my most recent upload because now that's gonna become a thing. By the way, that is, that is not highlight, that is not oil, that is sweat. I do not have AC in these lights and this shirt is not helping. Okay, so. Pretty nice, nice little base. Nothing more to say about that other than yay, good job base for being a base. Okay, so now I'm gonna take Coolest Brown and I'm going to put that into the crease. I'm excited. I'm a little bit excited about this palette. I have to say because, like I said, I really do not like warm tones on me, which is maybe why I tend to shy away from neutrals so much. 
but I'm excited about this. Okay, so the problem I'm having with this one is, okay, never mind. All right, what's going on? Like a little bit patchy and it was not going where I was trying to put it, but that seemed to have worked itself out. By the way, I forgot to mention, I feel like Violet Voss really excels in their shimmers. I love, love, love their shimmers. I feel like they are so pretty and just like really vibrant and like, ooh, so glittery, so beautiful. I feel like that is where they stride. Let's see. This one right here in their, I almost called it their Passion Palette. The shade is called Passion in their Coral Crush Palette. So you get a shade like that, right? And you swatch it out and like, like, do you see that? It almost has that wet look to it. And I think that's probably because they pack a lot of glitter in their shades without being like chunky glitter, pressed glitter territory. I don't know. I really like it. But if you're not one that's overly excited about shimmery, glittery shades, then you might not like that one. Okay. So again, lots of fallout. Be sure to tap off the brush. Maybe not wear white while doing this. But again, it's nice. I like it. I feel like it's going on really nicely. Like one swipe is probably all you need. See, like one dip into the pan and it blends out really nicely. So yay, I approve. My name is Jessica and I approve of this eyeshadow. Okay. So yeah, that blends out really nicely. I'm liking that. Okay. All right. So I think on the outer corner, I'm going to take Stone Cold Steve Austin. Does anyone even know what I'm talking about? I wasn't even a wrestling fan and even I know. All right. So I'm just taking Stone Cold and that's going on the outer corner. I'm really excited to use this gray shade. Like, I think that's what caught my attention. I think that's what caught my attention the most. So, okay. So definitely getting a lot of fallout on this shade. That is for sure. And that's even with topping off the brush. So just be careful. Okay. So yeah, this one, not as impressed with this shade. It's going on kind of patchy. It's got some kickback to it little bit disappointed because this is probably the shade I was most excited about. I mean, I think you could work with it though. I think if like you really took your time, like you can build it up to make it look nice and like, yeah, see, I took my time a little bit more with that one and it didn't come out as patchy. All right, so now we're just going to blend that out. Ooh, okay, so it does lose a lot of its vibrancy when you blend it out. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So, this is probably not going to make a lot of sense, but I feel like this palette is more of like a natural smoky eye where you're not getting that big vibrant smoky eye. It's like smoky eyes for those who are too scared to try the real thing. Okay, so that shade pretty much blends away into nothing, that stone cold right there. But I mean, I don't hate it though. Like I feel like when you want a more toned down smoky eye, I feel like it works. I don't know. You know, some people might have an issue with that. Ooh, okay. So yeah, it does leave fallout, but it blends away really nicely. I don't know. I think it blends really well, <laughs> even though it like disappears into nothing. But I just, I'm not hating that. I feel like I should. I should be pissed off right now, but I'm not. I'm like, ooh, this is, this is nice. But I just want to be really clear in case you were expecting something different. Okay. So now on the lid, I think I'm taking, let's go with Sub-Zero. Okay, that one's a little bit more cool tone than that one. 
a little less more champagne -y. oh my gosh the sky is getting real dark now like real dark ready for the thunder thunder lightning and the thunder okay okay i'm just gonna tap that off feel like oh that is pretty oh my gosh Violet Voss just knows what they're doing when it comes to shimmers. Like, I thought I was going to have to apply this wet, but I'm not. It's, I mean, it's definitely a more subtle shimmer, but it's showing up. Ooh, and it's just blending out really nicely. Can you see that? Yeah, I definitely feel like this palette is more for the people that want a subtle smoky eye. Which, that's fine. Like, I have enough palettes for full-blown smoky eyes. I feel like that shimmer is not showing up the greatest in the camera. I mean, I could be wrong, but I could definitely see it when I look in the mirror. It's like, it's there, okay? So you're just going to have to trust me on that one. All right, so now I think I'm going to go in with cool vibes, I guess, and just kind of quickly smoke out the lower lash line. Not exactly what I wanted to put below, but I don't know. I guess it will do. Okay. Smoky. Real quickly, I'm going to go back in with barely there. I'm just going to kind of really emphasize the brow bone if I can. Kind of just smooth everything out. Do you see the difference that makes on kind of like diffusing the shadow? I don't know. That's kind of a trick I picked up recently is just going back in with my crease shade or my highlight shade or my base shade. <laughs> when I am finished with a look just to kind of like blend everything together once in for all. Okay, just real quickly go back into that crease shade. So quickly. I'm just going back in with just the lightest hand for that crease shade. See? And there you have it. First, you go back in with the highlight and then you do the crease shade. Oh my god, it is so dark. It looks like it's nighttime. So, there you have it. There's the final look. Honestly, other than that stone cold shade, you really don't get much fallout. As long as you tap your brush off, you are good to go, sister. Okay, so final thoughts on this palette. Yes, it is subtle. <laughs> yes, that stone cold shade kind of blends away to nothing, but I don't really mind it. Like, this is not gonna be an in-your-face smoky eye palette. I mean, I suppose, no, because I use some of the most darkest shades in this palette and it's still pretty subtle but I really like that I'm not opposed to that like I said if this was the only smoky eye palette I had in my collection I'd probably be like oh, man this is so lackluster but because it's not I like it I feel like this is good when I want a smoky eye but I don't want to be like too intense about it like if you want a smoky eye for the daytime <laughs> But yes, it is cool tones. I really like that. I am all about the cool tones. I feel like the shadows did blend really nicely together. Like I said, other than that one that blended away to nothing, I feel like it was pretty good. So I do, I'm pretty impressed with this one. So I do have to say that, yeah, these, these like kind of mid-size palettes seem to be my favorites. I do not really recommend the minis. I've just, out of all the ones I've tried, I just do not feel like they're up there with the rest of them. And that's probably because it's like half the price almost. So yeah, of course you're not going to get as good of a quality. You know what I'm saying? 
But yes, I do recommend this one. This is very nice. Very nice. Violet Boss, and once again, you impressed me. <laughs> so that will do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. All that other stuff. Peace, love, and hope, and joy, whatever. <laughs> okay, bye!